retribution. Oh yeah, we want retribution. Oh yeah, we want retribution. Oh yeah, we want retribution. Let's victory on exterior Sonra. And that is why we need to take full control of games like today. We are back at home and looking for a rare occasion to put two wins on the board in a row. I know, it's crazy talk, isn't it? But that's where we sit this season. It's been tossing and turning and all over the show. Today we take on Asian, a team way down the ladder. So let's see how we manage to go. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to the Montpellier career mode where today is Asian are in the headlights. A team who is struggling near the bottom of the table and a team that is also on the road. Form along with away results should see Montpellier the chief favourites to come out of this match on the right side of things. But the way season three has gone so far, you just never, never know. Our team has undergone the one change. Yes, we've not changed anything. We've had to. That is Paylag coming in for the injured Tate McDermott, who is out for another 43 days following today's match as well. Other than that, though, we've gone full strength. No prisoners. We are here to win. And that is what we are going to do. The rest of the team the same, unchanged. This midfield of the unlikely pairing of La Marpe and Raul Haag proving very good in our last match against Bayern 8. Let's see if we can back that up. I want to more talk about this Asian side because take a look at what they have in this team. Let's start off a hooker, Malcolm Marks. Yeah, okay, I can live with that. Yes, very good player in the front row. Very good back row too of Axtons, Lokatui and Pierce. Reed, normally in midfield, starting at scrum half. But let's have a look at this midfield slash back two of three. Raymond Rule at inside centre. Pace to burn and a bit of power as well. How will he fare in that second sort of ball carrier role that needs to make things happen for guys outside of him like Tyler Morgan? This man... Rokaduru, who we know can finish exquisitely and a button at the back as well is a very, very good footballer. We've got a good team on our hands here and they have a signed players very, very well. Recruited, that's the word I was thinking of. They've recruited extremely well. You can tell by these names. Rule, Marks, Rokaduru already there as well, but they're going to be tough. So let's see if we can be tougher and take the away team down. Having a look at the benches for the two teams, we've not made any changes there. We didn't carry a scrum half last episode, and we won't be doing that again today. But we do have good support. Like, so Skinner can play 10. We can move Bello to 9 if we need to. Thomas Bottier there as well. Placines, Flankwell, Hamadach, Gomez, and Gilda Sally round out our 23. For Asian, not much going on on their bench. Ryan and Harley and Kutzia. The uh, back row, second row replacements. McIntyre moving to the bench with Sloan and Lamoli at 23. So, a very good team here for Asian. Let's see what we can do to them. Of course, coming off that very nice victory last episode. Let's see if we can back that up and with sound as well this time. Yes, <laughs> the recording for sound is actually working, which is brilliant. So, I hope you're enjoying a little bit of previous match sound. Is that it's a horrible sound? Oh no! We talked about the last couple of episodes and we've not suffered too many injuries. Now we've lost Wade Drago. We've got a ready replacement though to come off the seats. We'll go straight into that blindside flank. But man, we've had Tay McDermott last episode. He was our first big injury for the season. Now, straight off the kickoff, we've got Wade Drago. Crouch. Off. That is huge. Find. Although we are pretty stacked in the back row now. Sit. See if we can um, keep everyone else fit and healthy. That is the big, big question. The scene zone, adequate replacement. Joseph. Oh, Joseph. This is a great run here for the number eight. Big storming run. Up towards halfway for Joseph. Snowball comes back for Paylug. Down for Fanua. Another big carry. We struggle onto the ball. Paylug waits for it slowly. Now it comes back. Benarus. Great ball of Piano. Almost sneaks his way through. It's slow again. Paylug's there. Capelli. A big hole for a big man. High shot. That'll be an early penalty. And it's going to be an early yellow card as well. Raymond Rule eats a yellow. 
take 10 to the bin. Well, wow, that was a little bit exciting there for these two teams. Just seven minutes in, I'm going to take an easy three, get us started, and go back to the halfway line and look to do it again with the one man advantage. But Raymond Rule, oh, who wanted to see him with the ball in hand? He's an exquisite player. But uh, defensively, a little bit found out there as Bello made a half break, then gave it to Capelli. And uh, Raymond Rule clearly not wanting to make the hit on Capelli, went for the throat instead. And uh, well, he stopped him to be fair. So let's take a little positives here for the inside centre. It's three points to nil. Bello made no mistake with that kick, as you would expect. And we are back to Nori kicking off Watson. Oh, no way! Two kickoffs, two back row injuries. Well, this this is a bit of a bother now because we don't have another back row to come on. Well, Flanquart can come on, but um, that is our straight up open side flanker, Hamish Watson. So long we've gone. What is this round? Oh, I don't even know. Seven, eight? Crouch. Bind. I do want to make some changes, though, to that back row. Let's have a look what we can do. Uh, we can put Placines in at seven. It's probably a better option, but I don't really want to play Talfa Fanua. Who's a better ball carrier? We'll look at and compare breaking tackles the same defensively. Uh, Flanquart is actually better passing. Strength-wise, he's down. Speed and acceleration. Flanquart actually does the job over Talfa Fanua. Uh, that is interesting. Big guy, what's his weight? 133, 200. Flank quite. Okay, let's let's do this. Bigger man uh, in Talfa Fanua. We're going to move him to six. And you can all abuse me later about what you Shit. think about that call. Let's get the scrum underway to change weapon at the next stoppage. And I'm scared to let anyone get tackled now. Oh, so much room. Down this blind side. Hey, Lard. Oh, no, that's rubbish. Absolute garbage. This disaster. Why do we pass it so crappily there on the blind side? Joseph's Release. overrun the rock, and we don't manage to even get close to it. Big pick up, dump. Frank Hart, welcome to the game. He's going to lose it straight away. No, he hangs on nicely. Right, Paylard. Oh, bugger off. That was a disgusting tackle. And who was it? Fire or... Must be fire or accidents. We're going for touch here, lads. We're going to put these guys to the sword. I'm here to win. Uh-oh, 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 yes! Oh, what a kick from Bello! Off the side of the boot, lets it curl its way towards the touchline. Oh, I smell a try. Let's do this. I don't know where this is going. To the middle. Yes, let's small it up, lads. Capelli in there. Everyone's jumping on in. Who's standing in the back? It's Debra Bumper. Bumper, right to the line. Bumper scores off the back of the rolling ball. Debra Bumper grabs Montpellier try number one. So good to see him in form, in the action, and taking this game by the scruff of the neck. Great take in the middle of the line out. Flank part move from seven in to five. Well, six in the end. Bumper picked up. And let's be honest, there was nothing Noel Reed wanted to do with that. He was having none of that defensive work. And he just lets Bumper trundle his way in. Big try. Very, very big try. And with it, now we lead by eight. Kick to come, of course, by Mr. Perfect. Anthony Bello. Let's see where this one goes. I mean, he sparked it all, didn't he? High tackle on Paylark, who, thank God, didn't get injured. And then... We managed to get right close to that try line. Using the forwards. Love to do it. Raymond Rule is back on the field. Let's see what impact he has. I'm not too confident he's going to have any impact, to be fair. It's underway. It goes again with three. We've kept Asian completely out of this game. Bob ball! Wow! Oh, that is vicious! Oh, nasty tackle! Bumper went up for the ball. I want to see a re oh, I want to see a replay. He went up for the ball and he got absolutely dicked. He hardly even came down with it and he was squashed. Not only was he in the air, it was no arms. That's got to be a red card. Let's give him the Times Rugby Challenge. 
anything hit orientated has to go to the bin. We carry on. Bello, Rolla, over the top to Ortiz. Now the red boots, where are they going? Oh no, he's gone back to Bello. Lamape was right there, he couldn't link up. We're going short side. Bumper again, fighting room, Demba Bumper. Back to Ortiz, one to beat. Swing on, trips, gets up again, Ortiz. Quick on the rock there, where are the Asian players? And they will turn the ball over. A little bit of a scamper and a big run here. There's Mason struggling through a big hole. Sets up for Reed. A bit of width to rule. Release. He's got to kick this here, Ace, and they are under all sorts of pressure. No, it's the ball, it's there. Outside to the left wing, and the inside ball looks very good to Malcolm Marks. He is held up nicely from Padovani. It trickles towards the touchline. Fatigue's firing up out the line. Oh, what a ball! And through goes Morgan. Pedavani trying to stop him. He can't do it. Pay long ago. Mapipi. The king says, not on my watch. Still, the defense is shattered. Oh, there was room to the right. Eventually, they go that way. Keeping it alive through the big man fire. Turned over town for Fanua. Lamape drills it away. And we survive another minute from a very good onslaught by this Asian side. Well, Morgan, if he had a little bit more pace, we were in all sorts of trouble there. Great little bust. Now here is Malcolm Marks. The big man keeps signing. Goes to the middle. Moreau. Moore's a few meters forward. Now fire out in midfield with Raymond Roll. He is too fast. That's the impact. We were expecting on the outside, getting that channel through nicely. A little chip over the top. Padovani drags it in. Rockaduru, nothing on there for him. And if we can hang on to this, we won't. Oh, disaster, tragedy. We can go from Reed, busting through beautifully. Solomon's, oh, they've got to keep going forward here. Back to fire again. To the right side, Rockaduru. Oh, how's that not turned over? So many numbers there early. Even up for a fullback. But Tom, not a drop of throw! Saved by Pedavani. And we will go to half time. Wow. Our try line intact, but only just. Ajim fighting back very, very valiantly at the end of the half. Should have scored. And maybe Noel Reed should have just hung on to that ball in the end. But it's been a half of ill discipline by the visitors. Three high tackles, a yellow card, and it's gifted us easy territory. Although looking at the stat board, you'd say it's not very easy after all, just 27%. 50-50, almost 56-44 in possession, means that this game is still very much up for grabs. Just a 10 mil Montpellier lead. Well, the kickoff is deadly, so look out wherever this goes. Into the wind, I like it. Yes, get it up. Hold it up in the breeze. Get the chaser Ortiz on it. Ortiz the breeze. Beautiful Lamape. He's got a gunner for the line. Gives us all the power he's got. They can't get past the fullback puts in. There's so much room on the left side here. No one's gonna stop Capelli. Close to the line. Big try, Montpellier. Straight off the whistle. One phase later, we've got try number two. That is what we love to see, Miguel Capelli. But La Mape took on all comers. He was never going to beat Raymond Rule for pace. But quickly recycled ball. They were struggling to contain their left side. And a desperate tackle from Lacom near the try line. Not enough to stop the rampaging ball of Capelli. Well, this has been productive. I like this half so far. 15 to nil. I don't care if they don't score any points. I'm here to win. Conversion from Bello. Very good again. 17 nil. And those chances just before half time for the visitors. Maybe coming back to haunt them. The difference that team talk would have been at 10 7 as opposed to 10 nil. Confidence at top two inches. 
is massive. Ben Roos out to Bello. Oh, that's a good placement there. The kick, not the greatest, but Ratiz flying on through and takes Button out easily. Oh, it's a penalty. It's a no. It's an injury. It's a leg injury to the ancient fullback. And Amoli will come on to replace him in 15. Ratiz was flying on through and caught him. The great tackle, the leg looked like it got jarred. Find. And off he goes. Set. And this presents a good opportunity now for Asian. Right in halfway, just to the left hand side of the field. And well, it's just going to be a nothing kick straight down the throat of Padavani, who's just going to smoke it straight to the middle of the field. Got his kick away nicely. Uh oh. Now he wasn't covering back there. That's a very good kick. Mipimpi turns it around. Mipimpi turns the ball around. Now the pace. Mipimpi the power. Mipimpi away. Oh, bouncing on King because Marcus Ola. Mipimpi is in for another try. Too fast, too powerful, just too good. Gives it the little fist bump. He's happy. Turned on it. Dummy through one. Then put on the burners down the left. Had to take on the one player left. He was flat footed the wrong way. And there was no stopping. Well, the gang there, wasn't it? Mpimpi, Pedavani, and Laomape. They were all there. No one in the dark blue was even close to the three of them. They were gone. Here's Bello. Easy one right in front of Mpimpi goes right under the sticks. This is turning into a thrashing now. 24 nil. Three tries. Need one more, please. We've still got a good 25 or so minutes to do it in 26. Let's go. No more injuries, please, as well. Let's take this kickoff down and pass it. Advantage. Oh, no. Benarus, he's not that on. It's been picked up from Asia, though. Very nicely done from the visitors. Now let's see what they can cook up. To the left side they go, heavy resistance. Picked up from Reed. Turns it back inside, player. Going Advantage back over. Very good play there from Moreau. Advantage is over. Oh, we turned it over. Belarus gets it to Belarus. And there was never going to get a kick away. Another advantage comes now to Agent. Can they do something this time? Oh, that is a great hit. Des Mason gets decked. Quickly and abruptly the ground he goes. Some telly footy players in the background there. Don't mind those. Let's see what they can cook up when they come out wide. Big bus, big chance on Kaduru. Takes over. out two players. And Moreau has another go. Reed to the left this time. Salomon opens up for a rule. Back inside they go. Getting involved with Salomon again. A bumper's getting smoked by Rule. One to beat. Damn a bumper can't get close. And that's a great finish from Rockadoo. The try is finally scored. And Asian may be back in the game. Oh, this was magic. Down the right touch. They shifted it infield. There's the ball back. Lacombe gives to Salmon again. He was involved multiple times. Big tackle. Pedavani on Raymond Rule. But that offload and the acceleration from Rokaduru was a joy to behold. You see, skinned them all to the corner. The big finish as well. Love to see it. Here's the conversion from Noel Reed. And well, you can tell by the first up silence for the recovery from the crowd. That is a great kick. And the scoreline now has a number on the right hand side that's not zero. It is Asian with seven. But Montpellier still searching for that bonus point. We lost about a good 10 minutes there, and this kickoff is going to be too deep. Oh, wow! What a chase there. Capelli turns it over. Joseph, oh, go away! Stop killing our players! Lacombe with the high shots. And he's lucky he's still on the field, to be fair. Now, let's get this one right there. Oh, not the greatest. But finds us eight or so metres out from the line. Looking towards this man's wing now on the left. Makuzula Mopibi. Let's see what we can do. 
I want to catch this. And I want to maul it as well. And I want to set it up. I don't think I'm going to be able to set it up. Can we set it up for the crossfield? Oh, use the ball. No, we can't. Payla, a little bit of a run. Oh, intercepted! Rockadunu once more. Kills our momentum. And Zayn's going to try and fight their way down the left through the loose head prop tyre. Oh, they finally get the momentum going on the wall. We've got no one involved in this here. Come on, lads, stop it. Padavani's not back. That is a scary thought. There's a massive hole where he's left it as well. Morgan does very well. That's going to be a turnover. Not really seen. Penalty! Well, that was a little bit against the run of play there. Echeverry was looking for the glory of a 90, 100 metre try. It did nothing but get isolated. And Montpellier, well, Dimba Bumba capitalised fully on that chance. Throw in again. Oh, we've lost the line now. What's going on down this end of the field? Morgan Kirk's Pitabani is going into roundabouts. And we're back to halfway. Great clearance from Morgan. And a line out turnover from Locatilli. Keep it simple. Why do we go to the back? Time is running out. Let's go. Capelli, Paylag, back line. Bang, bang, bang. Right, Bello. Big hole for Bello. No, not Bello. Oh, three injuries. Go home, game. We've done so well with injuries up until halfway through last episode. What happened then? I don't know. The hospital opened up for business or something because everyone wants to go there now. Skinner's on the field. Crouch. How long bind. now do we lose our superstar Set. halves combo? No McDermott. Now Bellows out. There goes the buzzer. What can we do? Joseph looking. Oh, high tackle this time. And this time it's yellow card as well. Get out. Go on. Bugger off. You filthy mug. Go on. Shoot. Shoot. Morgan. Get off the field. So it looks like Ratiz has actually taken over the in-game kicking duties, which is an interesting call. But uh, we'll roll with it because why the hell not? Right, line out. Capelli, Paylard, back line. It looks like Mbippi's right there as well. Oh, it is. Look out. The King! Man, imagine if he got injured. That would be so bad. Paylard, Madrago! Numbers lives, Lamarpe! Welcome to Bonus Winland! We've done it! It was a bit sketchy, but we got there in the end. And it's been the standout performer this season. Nagani Lamarpe, he's done the job again. Mbimpi took them on, head first. Springbok on Springbok. Raymond Rule and Marcus on Mbimpi. Then Garado drew them in, took a heavy hit. And allowed an easy run in for Lau Mape. Great to see. He is so integral now in our midfield. Shame we can't find him a good partner. Skinner's on and Skinner's in the action. He'll have the final say. This has been a one-sided game that, if anything, has cost us more in injuries than it has in performance. 31 points to 7. We'll take that victory very much with a smile on our face. Whistle goes full time, and the Montpellier faithful are singing songs of joy. We've come home, and we have performed to a very high level here tonight over one of the most average teams in the division. To be fair, Asian were three and three before this game. Now they drop to a losing percentage record. For us, however, up in fifth and up with now a five-two winning record. Four tries to one, Bamba, Capelli, Mapimpi, and of course, La Mape. The conversion was split, three for Bello before he went off injured. Skinner, of course, as you just saw, got the last one. Bello also a penalty goal to kick the scores off right early in the first half. Rokaduru got the only try for eight and re-converted it, but let's be honest, this is a game where they should have scored much, much more. Enough to win, certainly not, but enough to make this game more interesting than a one-sided victory this home crowd wanted to see. A look at the stats, see that we still didn't recover 
that territory down, way down at 31%, but we had enough to take our chances and put away the victories. Two yellow cards really did cost the visiting team, but our line breaks were a fierce five to three, and we were clinical when presented with most of our chances. 31-7, I'll take the win, I'll take the bonus, and I'll move on from this worthless, injury-smashing Asian team. Well, I don't want to check the mail. Honestly, I don't want to know what that says. We've lost three good players. What, Wade Drago? Uh, who else did we lose in that back row? Watson, and then we lost Bellow as well. It'll be a good day if maybe one of them isn't a long-term injury. Okay, well, Drago's out for eight weeks. Watson's out for 15 weeks. Bello is a broken nose. Well, pretty boy, number 10. That's a horrible injury for a guy like that. He is out for just four weeks. I can live with that. A long-term, a mid-term, and a short-term. God damn, these injuries. Unbelievable. 98 days. Oh, man. Oh, Hamish. Well, this means we change things up, I think. We've really got to mix this team up. Of course, we do have um, Heron, who will slot straight into their number 10 jumper. We'll leave Skinner on the bench. Uh, otherwise, you know, again, winning team, forced injury changes, uh, and we will move on with what we have to do there. Let's have a look at the competition, because next episode you can see... Ooh, Bordeaux. Well, I was about to say we have the high-flying Bordeaux Begler, but... Um, no, they're not so high flying anymore. They were right up there. I think, what, they have a 3 and 1 record at one point? They're on a losing streak. Um, just there's one. But uh, four losses now to their Bordeaux side down in ninth position with just 16 points. And let's be fair, four bonuses means that's enough points for another win, technically, from bonus points alone. We've only got three. Look at Breve up here with six. That is ridiculous. And eight for Toulouse. Wow, one team that's fallen off here is Clermont. Seven games, they're only five bonus points. That's a bit slack by them. Start France hanging tight with 28. And 24 for Toulouse, 23 for Montpellier, and 22 for Brive. Toulon are coming back, and Powell, wow, doing very well. Up on a three-game winning streak, and they are up in seventh on 20 points. Bane is still in this competition as well. Bordeaux not far off. La Rochelle. Even Leon on 15. A couple of big few weeks there. And they are right back in the chase. These guys, we just smoked them. So they're done. You lose to us, that really is the kiss of death. We're coming up towards Europe as well. Bordeaux next. And then we have Toulouse before it is Bath. And our opening um, Champions Cup matchup. Ulster uh, round two. And then the Stade Francais back in the top 14. Before two games against the mighty New logo of the Glasgow Warriors. Can't wait for those two clashes. New teams, finally. We've played Bath, I think, every European season so far. But we have not met Ulster or Glasgow yet. So that's going to be cool to finally meet some new teams. That is next episode, though. Bordeaux ready and waiting on the road. Which means we've got to be good if we're going to beat these guys. Bordeaux are a decent side, so there's work to be done. Hope you all enjoyed today's matchup against Agent. We were, I think we were decent enough um, and put in a good performance. Next one, though, will be a toughie on the road. So I'll see you all for it. Until then, though, thank you all for watching, as always. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section about the team, who should come in, who should go out, who you're impressed by, and who has not impressed you on the other side of things. And I'll see you all for our next match. Until then, though, take care.